Oh, right, okay. So you're starting to understand the system. They had to come out of the shadows. Um, and then, so that's the kind of mechanics of empire that people are understanding more because they're having to reveal it. And then they're also revealing themselves and smashing the system that they created after the Second War to pieces. So, for example, the ICC, as I mentioned, have, issued, have requested arrest warrants for Benjamin Netanyahu and Ga Yoav Gallant. Um, and then the US Congress passed something to punish the ICC for that. And the ICC is an imperial institution anyway. It's, it's part of the settlement that the US was in charge of. And up till now has always gone after official enemies or African dictators and stuff like that. So they're having to show that they don't even believe in the system that they've been advocating for. Plus, you have Joe Biden getting up for 11 months defending a hideous genocide, which is the worst thing I think many of us have ever seen in our lives. Uh, and social media allows people to see what the reality of what's happening. And then they're looking at their TV and seeing Joe Biden defend it all, ventriloquize Israeli propaganda, uh, and they're thinking, well, this is the Democrat, this is the guy that I'm being told to vote for because he's the good guy and Trump's the bad guy. And then they're thinking, well, maybe they're part of the same system and there might be some surface differences, but they're defending the same system. I think all these realizations are happening and Gaza has exposed it like never before because for some reason, which is preposterous, the US president cannot move against this small little colony that the United States has. It's nine million people, GDP smaller than Sweden, is smaller than Wales in terms of its uh, uh, size. And yet, the, the US cannot control it. 